a five minute tech tip from Troy and Joan on Creative Commons images. And uh, what we're going to look at today is how important it is for you to find free and usable images for anything that students create or as teachers we create online. We want to be sure that we are respecting all kinds of intellectual property and modeling that digital citizenship. Yeah, we so, have a legal and ethical um, requirement to respect other people's content. So that's why Creative Commons is important. So I'll show you two quick, easy ways to find that content. Right now I'm in Google Images, really familiar, and I want to get myself a banner for my Google Classroom. And it happens to be a movie classroom, so um, I come into Google Images, and it's real simple to click on Search Tools and Usage Rights. Usage Rights show you exactly what you're going to be using that image for. If it is um, offered out with Creative Commons licensing, you, you just want to use the image, you can click on Labeled for Reuse. And that means it's available for you to use. I'm going to click on this one. It looks like a really nice banner image. And remember to go to visit the page. What we're looking for when you visit a page is, is the copyright on it something that is available for everyone? And you might want to take a look at um, the information about reusing this image. Another quick thing to look at in um, your Google search is, let's say I don't want an image, maybe under my search tools, I would like to find some clip art. And a lot of our students like to use clip art, so you can teach them to do this very simple drop down with the search tools of labeled for reuse and clip art, and they'll be able to find all kinds of really nice usable clip art for them in any of their projects. And our other option is to use and get really high quality photos from Flickr. Flickr is an easy to use search engine for any kind of image if you're looking for high quality. But one added trick is to use the filter for the license type. So let's say that you simply want to use the image and post that image. You can click on all Creative Commons and you'll be able to click on the image. So Troy, what am I looking for here if I need to give attribution? Well, you're looking for, they have um, little icons for what kind of uses can be used. And so you can see it needs to be attributed where sometimes they don't. Um, but the, the name of the photographer is right next to, in that instance, his image. Tom Blackwell, and you can um, just click on that and, and reference um, his page, or you can put photo courtesy of Tom Blackwell. Uh, so what, whatever the photographer requires as far as referencing them, you need to do. Right. So just to recap, um, if you are in a Google image search, you're looking for that licensing and it can be filtered by uh, labeled for reuse. If you happen to want to change it, maybe you want to take the, the image into Photoshop, you want to be sure and choose labeled for reuse with modification. That means the uh, creator is allowing you to edit it. And if you're in Flickr, um, you want to be sure and you're looking for uh, that usage rights here and getting the author, the creator of the image. And that is Creative Commons in a nutshell. <laughs> and, and just to add, um, Creative Commons license applies to audio, music, and videos as well. And it was a license created specifically for um, teachers or people who wanted to reuse material, uh, digital media material, because um, the old licensing agreements didn't cover free reuse and things like that. So that's your five-minute tech tip from Troy and Joe.